All right, y'all, it's Wednesday. Got a little late start on uh, one week's finds, but uh, we did just make the first find of the week. Like I said, uh, it's like about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon and been out here five minutes. Not much has ever really happened in this field. Uh, so when I usually get a target, a good signal, a decent signal, I dig it and I just dug it. And it was over a, about a foot down, believe it or not, like a foot down. And uh, like I said, been here two or three minutes and got the first bullet of the day. Yep. But uh, we're going to keep on hunting here. Like I said, uh, every target is real deep. I think uh, mainly all the relic hunters over the years uh, just got the easy stuff and I'm going real slow and there you go. Somewhere right here on top of the plug. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's about nine, nine inches. Oh, there it is, right there. Um, it's like a type of brass ribbit. Yeah, brass ribbit, ten inches, smaller than a half dime, and got an old piece of camp lead. Yep, big chunk of camp lead. We on to them. They had troops right here in this area, camping out, making pancakes and biscuits. Had a good find. Find no. of the day so far. A find of the. Uh, no, I gotta find it. Um, it's looks like it's gonna be a button. Yep, a little cuff button or something. Pretty neat. Ain't found a button in a while. This old square nail. It's pretty deep though. It's down. It's, down to my elbows is right up in there. Well, the three ring. ringer. Cut in half. So you can tell it's a three ringer. It's got the, the rings on it. Yeah. Bust the ball. I just made a little fine for the damn deep. Uh, it looks like a fuse to uh, some kind of shell or something. Um, Looks like the shell might have blew up because it's missing a piece of it. But uh, yeah, definitely what it is, is a fuse to a shell. Kind of looks like a shinkle shell fuse. Oh, uh, buckle. Yep, pretty sure it's buckle off the soldier. 90% of everything I find in this field is Civil War. Just want to show you, I done dug about a shitload of them. This little old bucking ball, um, right there. Three of these to one round ball and uh, made a hell of a shot. Yeah. Wrong well, pair. I just walked speed, directly man. from my truck to right here and got a signal. And it's a big 69 caliber bullet laying right here on the, nearby on top of the ground. Yep, there's a little glimpse of it right there. Huh? It's like a shot three ringer. Pretty deep though. Uh, looks like a type of brass ribbon, but uh, yeah. I like it. All right, y'all, another little find. Uh, it's not a three ring or anything. It's 
Can't tell if it's a shot bullet or what. But uh it's an old bullet. We're cleaning it up. Alright y'all, we start right off with this a little bit of trash, trash bullets and stuff. Uh modern bullets, uh you know, 68 year old bullet. Got some kind of weird looking gear right here. I uh, really don't know what it is. If anybody's got any ideas, uh, let me know. It's got some, like some gear teeth on it. But uh, anyway, getting to our Civil War finds. Uh, we found plenty of camp lead. Plenty of camp lead that other people left. Uh, got this cut in half three ringer. Or smashed. It's like somebody was cutting it up. Um, found one last week. This is the one I found last week. Uh, more cut up bullets. Little brass buckle. Three button backs. Cuff buttons. A piece of maybe a shinkle shell or some type of fuse. Not a bad little find there. And uh, some bucking balls. Here's an item that uh, anybody's got any idea. Kind of weird. It's been broke on both ends though. And a few bullets. Uh, found this 69 caliber in my dad's yard. Y'all seen me dig it. And a couple other three ringers. That's a nice one. And a shot, three ringer. I found this in the campsite, so I think he might have just shot it into the ground or something. And a little uh, Colt bullet. Yep, pretty neat, pretty neat. They're a little square now. That's about all we got for y'all. Uh, this is uh, One Week's Finds number two. Uh, we'll be coming out with another one next week. One Week's Finds number three. It's Digging Deep South. Appreciate y'all watching. All right, y'all. I forgot about this. Uh, at the beginning of the week, when it was raining, I got rained out and went up, uh, went and looked underneath this big 300-year-old oak tree, and uh, found some of these uh, buttons. Uh, I think they're made out of porcelain or some type of porcelain. But uh, the finds I, uh, I'm proud about is these Indian trade beads. Uh, these bees were, they would put these bees in their hair and, uh, very old oak tree, but, uh, God told me about them. I found one and he told me what it was and I went back and found, uh, five more. But uh, I'll be going back there to get some more of those. Thanks for watching.